Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check for the week of August 16th through the 23rd. This is for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I do want to thank all of you so much for watching the readings and hitting that like button. That helps um, the YouTube algorithm so more people see the readings. Other Sagittarius get to see it too, so thank you for doing that. And also subscribing, I really do, it means a lot to me, so thank you. And um, if you're new, I'd, I'd like to invite you to join us by becoming a subscriber. And I do videos every Friday. I post a new one, new reading every Friday. And typically Monday or Tuesday, I'll post another reading. So um, you can hit the bell too to be notified. But let's um, let's get into this. Let's get the direction here. The guidance, please. What's the guidance for Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to know? What does Sagittarius need to know? Oh, I'm going to leave that out. For the highest good of all concerned for Sagittarius. All right. Well, I like it when the cards are a little jumpy. It keeps it exciting, right? So, let's see here. Get to you in a minute. So, you start off here with the Six of Cups the Devil, the Three of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. And then this is the King of Wands, all right? So you're in your power. Um, I like it that that's the card that jumped out because it really kind of forced its way out. So it's definitely about you being in your element, in your power, um, you know, I, I, you have an offer here, all right? You have an offer, but I think you're a little skeptical about it. Um, it certainly could be, it could be work or it could be love with the, the pentacles here. So we'll talk a little bit about the energies. You've got water, so uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You've got air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You've got Capricorn here. You've got fire, as we mentioned, Aries, Leo, Sag, and, um, and Earth too. So Taurus, Virgo, plus the Capricorn. Um, so you've got the six of cups here and, um, you know, the only thing about this, this offer, cause you've got the page of pentacles here too. And these two both, you know, there's, there's an offer, but there's an immaturity with both of these. And so it may be an offer that needs to develop more. Um, you know, you get what you expect. So keep that in mind. So those of you that, you know, you work with universal laws and you have gotten pretty good at manifesting or maybe you're still developing this skill. If you, you know, we talk about if you spot it, you got it, right? If something shows up in your experience, it's actually coming from within you. And so you can change that. You know, when your expectations change, your environment changes. So again, this may be a little bit underdeveloped. This can certainly be an X coming back too, because it's really a, about nostalgia. It's about a sentimental longing. Um, but it also can be, it, it feels like too, for somebody here, it may be more about longing for the good parts of a relationship and kind of wondering how did this get up, off track. But I, I do feel like it's taking up a lot of space in somebody's head, either yours or theirs where it's kind of like this person's living rent-free in your head. Um, so it, 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 it does have a bit of an obsessive flavor to it, all right? And so be aware of that, because if it's not you, then it's them. And they're keeping, you know, there's some, there's some energetic connection here between the two of you that is still active, it's still alive and kicking. And so if you're not interested in this person, um, I, you know, you're going to have to focus your attention on other new endeavors. Um, but either way, if it's work too, there's definitely something here that keeps pulling you into back into this situation or wanting to stay alive. All right. So with the devil here, this is, um, you know, it's Capricorn energy, but it's definitely, um, limiting beliefs and self -de defeating behaviors. So, um, be aware of that. And it could be the other person. So maybe they're the ones that they, they could certainly have a problem with alcohol or gambling or some other addiction that created this situation. And really with the three of swords here, very much could be the case where they just, 
we're not taking enough of an active role in recovery and um or it's it if it's not if it's not addiction in that sense it's just self-defeating behaviors all right that they were not willing to change so be aware of that because this devil energy can keep us keep things active in our vibration that we may not be fully aware of until it starts showing up in our 3d world you know and you go oh my god how did i manifest that well my thoughts become things that's exactly how so it is a car of fear and of doubt too and i think with the four of pentacles it feels more like it's you being doubtful of a situation um but it's like bondage by choice all right so you can break free of this and it, it really is you know a, a time of trying to go with the flow a little bit more get into the flow focus on positive things focus on things that you've already manifested that seem incredible um so with the three of swords it's certainly you know pain and sadness and heartache betrayal here especially with the devil because he's like libel and slander comes with the devil as well and so somebody definitely hurt you but there's wisdom here all right there's wisdom in this and there's also acceptance of the situation and some of you that are you know knowledge of universal principle knowledgeable of universal principles maybe saying i do see how this was created i create my reality i get that and i see exactly where it went where it started and for somebody here i feel like whatever this was is really got got you into uh, you know a, sp a spiritual path more learning more gaining more understanding and spiritual development as a result of this it was a catalyst to it so now the good news is you have this wheel of fortune and this is a beautiful change in events um and you're moving forward in several different cards here you've got new opportunities coming in so for some of you, you're going to leave this past stuff behind, whether they're obsessed with you or not. Um, it won't matter, but it may help if you can disengage from that that energetic connection. You you know, it's a 10. It's a new cycle coming in. And especially with the King of Wands at the helm here, you've got a new opportunity starting. And it's like this spark, this creative spark that shows up. And determination focus and a you know your point of attraction is very clear with this you are definitely manifesting things in the 3d world so it's just important to be deliberate about your intentions set your intentions write them down see the outcome you know that's really where people get tripped up is first you know i get a lot of comments about wanting to uh, reconcile with a, a specific person and part of the problem is they're in the too much in the how they're not in the um why do i want this and it's more about the trying to get text messages and stuff and that or apologies and that's really about the how we're going to come back together so anyway with the um king of king of wands here you could also be doing some kind of change i mentioned career briefly there could be more coming here um uh because there's an authority figure here this this certainly could be a promotion for some and it also could be more training so maybe you're going to get some kind of specialized training um that your work pays for or suggests out of the blue or somebody quits who used to do that training and it's going to be very good for you along the way um and it shows up again here too with the two of wands all right so um this is also a card of success but it's like wanting more it's very contemplative energy. You've got the world in your hands, but it's kind of a small world. You're wanting a bigger world. You're wanting to, you know, it's like go big or go home. And um, there may be a decision to make. Um, it does feel like if it's more training or a uh, uh, promotion, you'll it won't be very difficult to decide. You'll be you'll be moving up the ladder quickly with this. So. Again, I, I mentioned before, you got an offer coming in with the Page of Pentacles. and um, But there's also pride in this. I do feel like it, those of you with work and getting something new at work, it does bring a sense of achievement with it. You know, it really does. And it's like a sense of recognition and feeling valued, feeling appreciated. And again, you're manifesting that. You get what you think about. So when you 
have a knowing that you are a huge asset at work and everyone around you sees it, it has to show up. I, you know, if you would have asked me 15 years ago about work, I was ready to quit. And now, and I was, you know, seven years into the same job. And now it's like a completely different environment. I, I mean, I command respect there and, but I don't do it with ego. I, I kind of do it quietly. And in some cases I don't always like it because it's like, everyone lines up looking for answers. And I'm like, look, I'm not the panacea to all your problems. But again, I do feel like you're going in that direction where all of a sudden it's like, you know, they're looking at you as a huge asset and resource and you can feel it. So, um, you know, I mentioned you've got a bit of a closed off vibe in here and that seems to be with, um, with regard to old things. I think um, part of this is letting go of old ideas, letting go of old resentments, any anything that's left over because you do have some new things coming in. And in order to fully step into those, you're going to have to, um, you know, sh kind of shut the door on some things that are still lurking around. But again, you do have something new coming in. You've got communication coming in. So it may be time to open your mind and your heart and release anything that doesn't serve you. Um, it, this also too can be a time where you'll be more conservative or aware of money more, especially with the wheel of fortune here too. If you are manifesting money, you may not just go out and spend it willy nilly. You'll be more aware of where it is and what you're doing with it. So you've got a, you've got communication, you've got clarity here with the ace of swords and you do have some kind of new opportunity. There's a new goal and, um, you know, this may be some kind of a new goal with health, fitness, your, those of you that go, I do not want this reconciliation stuff, and you're looking for new love, here you go. Um, so it really, though, is about you stepping into being your best self, and it also is communication that comes through, too. So again, there's gifts falling off of this. These are yads, it's in Hebrew, and um, they're gifts from the heavens, from the universe coming towards you. And it's the the Ace of Swords does have to do more with the material world um, and kind of cutting through things, but coming into that wholeness, that oneness with yourself, your higher self. So you're definitely being divinely guided through this. Um, so it'll be interesting because there's a few different directions that could take. But yeah, I do think some of you have, you got somebody from the past that's hanging on. All right, so let's get the um, angel messages here. All right. And you can ask a timeline here. And a yes or no. So in the past you had recovery, and this is interesting with the conversation we had about the devil. Um, so it certainly could be related to that. It could be your own recovery from a relationship with somebody who was in active addiction or just very self-centered or narcissist, and there was recovery after that, all right? A period of recovery and renewal, rejuvenation, and even kind of a rebirth, I think, for some of you. So on your, in your current situation, you have abundance. We did talk about money and it feels coming. It feels like it's coming through. You've got some opportunities coming in that are going to bring more money to you, but it's also abundance in other areas. Um, so, you know, friendships, it didn't show up a ton here uh, with the six of cups. I guess that could also be past friends as well, but, um, it's overall satisfaction with many areas, okay? So not just the not just the material, but abundant in a lot of different ways. And then on your current trajectory, helpful people. So you may come into meeting new people that are going to be guides on this path. They're going to be people who have similar experiences that can give you insight, help you grow. Um, 
they, they really, it's telling you in your current trajectory, there's going to be new people showing up. So interesting, because that card can be, especially with work, can be really <clears throat> um, uh, a useful card to have show up. So it says in the near future, things are, whatever this Wheel of Fortune is with the Ace of Swords and the King of Wands, things are coming to fruition for you. And the yes or no, it's a yes exclamation point. So that's a very affirmative yes, all right? So um, it looks like you do have a little bit of a, you know, like I said, something with the past, but then things are turning in your favor here, Sagittarius. And I love you so much, and I'll be back again soon.